She is by far one of the country's best and most consistent acting uh, talents on stage and on screen. Fiona Ramsey has proven to be worth anyone's time and attention. So much so that sometimes we watch just to see her in action more uh, than we engage with the stories. Well, her latest work is in a stage production and is called Blonde Poison, which is set in war-torn Berlin and sees her playing Stella Goldslach, who is an illegal immigrant. The play, which is written by Gail Loeb, will open at the Otto and General Theatre on the Square in Santon on Tuesday, the 10th of January. Well, Fiona Ramsey joins us now in studio to tell us more about Blonde Poison. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. All right. Let's talk about Blonde Poison. Let's uh, let the viewer in on what the play is about. It is about a woman who, it's about a woman who survives. It's mm. a story of survival. Um, she was 18 in 1940 at the time of the, the war, but it deals with her having to survive and having to make choices that mm. many of us are faced with in life. Um, and I think it has particular relevance to South Africa because so many people turned informers or mm. spies mm. during our last regime, and in fact, maybe still, and we see it all around the world. Yeah. And it's not, it doesn't try to exonerate her. It doesn't try to make you say, uh, you know, like say, oh, well, we understand why she did it mm. and let her off the hook at all. She doesn't let herself off the hook. So it's really a story about, about morality and the choices one makes in a, terrible situation yeah. for you what is the most interesting bit about the story i've made you aware of it well i think you know at the moment we face a crisis a crisis globally about refugees mm. everywhere in the world um she was a, a german jewess that grew up in germany but she was blonde so she looked german mm. and she fitted all the the kind of attributes that aryans had to and what interests me about the play is had America and Britain kept their doors open to the refugees from Germany, we may have averted the scale of the Holocaust. And we are faced with that now. We have more refugees than we've ever had in the world trying to find asylum and refuge in all over the world. And people are just closing their doors. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think that, it's that, that that's why the play has resonances beyond. It's got resonances about what happened in, in, in this country particularly about how, what you do to survive. Yeah. Let's talk about your run at National Arts Festival in Germstown. How was that? It was extraordinary. You know, it fitted into the solo festival, uh, which Ismail Mohammed, um, uh, which was his sort of brainchild. And it, it, he said, do you have a play that fits into displacement, uh, solitary confinement, do, uh, themes of war, of women? And it's a, you know, a women's festival. The solo mm. festival this year was particularly women. Women had to be involved either in the writing or directing or, or acting. And so we decided to do it. And um, I believe we played to them the most audience. We played to the fullest capacity, yeah. which was fantastic. And then we took it to Hilton Festival and now we're opening at Theatre on the Square. And let me tell you something, we're opening on Tuesday yes. because Cello, your previous guest, yeah. is opening on Wednesday, Wednesday and I wasn't prepared <laughs> to have a clash so I said I'm going to open on Tuesday. You have to check the competition. <laughs> <laughs> I mean let's talk about working with your director uh, Jana Ramos of Yolante. How was that? How's that combination and how do you guys feed off each other? Jana Ramos Violante is an extraordinary talent and we we have what I call a creative collaboration mm. or uh, a creative relationship really. I mean she approached me many many years ago about four years ago to do Doubt. Um, where I played a nun and she said I don't know whether you'd consider it doing it she was quite tentative yeah. and ever since then we've done something like 15 productions together so I've acted with her um, I directed her earlier this year in a play about uh, at Maboneng at uh, the Pop Art Theatre um, she's she's just an extra and we know each other terribly yeah. well now over those four years and when you work with people that you know I think it's or, and you enjoy working with and you have a similar vision about theatre and a similar hope for what theatre can do I think that the, the, the dialogue the, the, the working relationship becomes much easier because 
you don't have to spend too much time talking yeah. about it. You just do. All right, Fiona, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Fiona Ramsey plays Stella Gold uh, Slack in uh, The Blonde Poison, which will be at the theater on the square. Uh, that's from Tuesday, the 10th of January to the 4th of February 2017. Theater on the square. So do yourself a favor. Go check it out.